Have you guys ever heard the term nostalgia? Well, some players might recognize, recognize this. This is the old Minecraft villages. This didn't change until 1.14. But why am I doing this? It's 2023. This was like a 2016 thing. Well, that's because I'm revisiting the exact version that I started playing Minecraft, which was 1.12 also known as the World of Color update, which added lots of things. Colored beds, colored wool, colored glass, all that. This is, I purposely colored that bed because it's nostalgic. And I'm going to be surviving 100 days in this world. Now, as you see, I already have some gear. And, yeah, that's because I, uh, might have forgotten to record the first few days when I decided, hey, why don't I record this because these videos are kind of going viral. So that's what I'm doing. Huh. So, enjoy 100 days in Minecraft 1.12. Quick summary of everything that happened on days 1 and 2. Spawned right here next to the village. Looted the village, huh. forgot the villagers didn't spawn with any items back then. I was able to get some an iron sword, huh. some... Uh, what is it that I got? an iron sword I don't remember what the other stuff was, but I was, got an iron sword and these iron leggings there. Hmm. Then, night came fast, I started farming for some wheat. Oh, I forgot to put that there, I'll get that. And uh, I was able to get myself two beds, and then night came, slept. Day two, went into the caves, mined, got enough iron to make a full, almost a full set of uh, iron armor, I just need to smelt this iron. So that's what we're going to go do. Huh. Huh. And that'll be done any second now. And there we go, we got our iron from all that. Huh. Now let's go craft up some of this armor. Full iron armor, let's go! Back to the caves, now. Yeah. Any of you true nostalgic people out here that played Minecraft in this version, Minecraft Veterans, I should say, remember, Minecraft's best place to find diamonds back in this version is Y minus 11. No, just normal Y11. I don't know, say minus 11. So I will see you guys at Y11. Hey, we found some iron. Oh, that's useful. making this. And we should be at Y11 now. Yep, we are at Y11. Now we are just going to strip by. For a while. Let's go! First diamonds of the game. That's all. Five diamonds. Let's continue mining. Wait, there's no... What? There's no sound for the pickaxe breaking. Oh. I'm mining in that... Well, time to head back and craft some more pickaxe. Cra craft another pickaxe because I have five iron. Well, I could actually make a diamond pickaxe, so I'm gonna head back and do that right now. Okay, I've just been up at the surface, making my tools, and I just heard it. And, okay, we're gonna do this, boys. We get our you know, first and her down. Block. This version's actually really hard because silk touch, well, kind of takes a long time to get, so 
we're gonna save that one. Hmm. Grass block. in the chest and they should be there now it's day three and i think that i should make some stairs that go down to the mine so that it's easier to get back and forth between there so we're just gonna craft these up really quick one cobblestone left and Let's go place these. Get a tentacle transition. And was that a cool transition? Because... How did a zombie spawn there? I have light levels. I, there's literally light in the... Two of them. Why are they spawn... Oh, wait. In this Minecraft version, mobs can spawn in as long as the light level is 7 or below. Doesn't spawn at 0 light level as well. Hopefully that will help. I should probably also do that to the cave down here. That, that's a very big hazard. Okay, yeah. Back down to the mine. Okay, um, I think I found this bug, but I was in my mining trip and I did the torch gravel technique and this happened. Uh, okay, yeah, it's not happening over there. Well, okay then, I guess that happened. Here we go, our first lava pool of the game. This is... As I was saying, I was never find lava pools, so this is actually really rare for me. Oh, it leads to a cave. Well, I'm gonna explore this cave, see if there's anything. There was nothing. Back to mining. Mining trip concluded. Got 27 iron. 109 in the redstone and 16 in coal. Tons of cobblestone, a little bit of diorite and andesite. Only four pieces of granite, which I'm happy about, because that's all trash. Boy, a good chunk of derby load on my pickaxe, though. Okay, it is currently day four, and I really want to just, like, upgrade my base, because it's just... Yeah, it's just this. Crafting table, chest, and two beds. So... Here's the plan. Future Porter will explain. Hey guys, Future Porter here, and I'm going to be explaining that I'm thinking of making a tower-like base. The same sort of theme as the village, same used blocks, except this time, it's going to be bigger and better. So, we're going to make this base. It's going to require a lot of materials, but it is going to be amazing. Okay guys, now because you've probably seen some 100 days YouTubers do this material collecting thing, I'm just gonna skip- Okay, that's a floating tree. We're just gonna skip right through this, and we're just gonna get to the fun part of building. First step, gather lots of wood, so- Another- Why are there so many floating trees? What the- Okay, this has gotta be a bug. But, it's time to do some mass de deforestation. And I'll see you guys- I should mark this block so I can do this later. And I'll see you guys in a minute. And there we go. But, oh, hey, an apple. Now, if you're wondering why this video is really horrible so far, and bad editing skills for my mic is probably really bad right now, it's because I don't have replay mod, what all those people had, but we didn't have replay mod back in 1.12, so we're staying that way. Now, we're gonna need a lot of stone. I already have a ton of cobblestone, so we just need to smelt it up really quick. 
Now, while all of our stone is smelting, we are going to start to build this base. And this is just turned to day five, so... Okay, the sun's over there somewhere. And we're going to start building this base. It's going to be right here. Right here. Okay, let me just do this. And that should be the bottom floor done. Now I'm going to go check if the stone has smelted because we're going to need that for the next couple of floors. The stone has smelted. Let's get to building. It is now day seven and we have our second floor complete. Now, I'm not really thinking about adding anything to the bottom floor, but I do want to light it up so that no mobs spawn. So, let's just do this real quick. And one here in the middle for good measure. Let's get our wood. And now I'm kind of thinking that I want some sort of staircase, like a spiral one. So, right here in the middle, should have a spiral staircase here. I really like that idea. So, I actually kind of think I want stone for it. So, let's see how this would look. Oh yeah, that definitely looks so much better with like, the wood uh, slabs going up it. Yes, that's what I've decided. So let's craft these up, and I will show you what it looks like when we get there. Spiral staircase reveal. So I found out that if, because I positioned this right, I can go right up here. And I can also go right here without having anything blocked. So I really like this design personally. I think it's absolutely amazing, and then... I'm um, gonna th thinking about making the top floor here, so let's do that. That took longer than I expected. It is day nine now, but the third floor is going to be all I need to do is the roof. But I ran out of stone, so back down to the mines, I guess. No, I hate these things. Oh, surprisingly easy. That sounds like there's a lot of zombies up here, so... Is that in my mining cave? That's in a... That's in my mining cave. Don't worry about it. We're just gonna do the classical mine for stone. I have to go resmelt this, so I'll skip through the boring part and I'll just get to the part where the roof is done. Here we are, everybody! It is day 10 in our Minecraft series. So we are going to be finishing the roof on the house. As you can see, it's almost done. We just gotta work on the interior of the roof. And then from there on, we are going to end this video. I am going to be probably uploading every 10 Minecraft days in this hardcore world. Well, not hardcore survival. Hardcore, back in 1.12, I played on Xbox, and we didn't have hardcore, so it wasn't all that different. So that's why I have this on normal difficulty, I think, yeah, normal difficulty. And it's going to be, we're going to see if, how long we can go. It's gonna be infinite, but if we die, nothing's gonna happen, we'll be fine, so this is gonna be pretty cool. We'll see what happens. I feel like I'm starting some big series for my channel here. I'm gonna go from 700 subscribers to 700,000 days, probably, but knowing my channel, I barely make viral videos often. I've only made like two viral videos animation and a game of City Smash, which that's one of my first few videos, and I have some more recent videos of that, but, again, hasn't really gone viral yet. So, maybe this could be the start of something new for my channel, hoping to 
make money, it's a, you know, become a cool YouTuber, like a Mr. Beast or something, you know, whatever they call people these days, I'm trying to go a big YouTuber, big, really popular, and I guess see what happens. Next episode is probably going to be me moving into this new base, so we'll see how that goes. If you've made it this far in the video already, don't forget to subscribe because a lot more of this content will appear and if you're really enjoying this, this sense of nostalgia from this, you would probably want to subscribe because you may never see me again, you never know. If you want to see me again, if you want to see some more videos in this series, you gotta slip that subscribe button. If you don't, well, I'll say one last goodbye. But until then, let's finish this roof go on with this Minecraft survival world. Oh, the music just ended. Always like the nostalgic Minecraft music, it's really nice. Okay, we're going to go up. Almost done with the roof, everybody. Next episode, as I said, we're going to be moving into the space, getting the beds, the furnaces, all that. And there on, I think the episode after that will probably be me trying to get a totem, because in this, well actually, I don't think I'm going to need to explain. I'll leave you to that when that time comes. But until then, goodbye. The base is just about, fin just about, just about finished. And we're going to break these last few logs, and the base is complete. Let's take a look at it from the outside. And here the base is complete. I'm gonna probably work on a moving in the next episode, as I've said for the third time now. And if this video gets two likes, that's our goal, two likes at least, I will make a part two. Then part three, I'll get three likes and so on. So let's see how this series does. Probably not gonna do well, but... Am I the only one that saw that... There's dots moving. Oh wait, no, that's just... That is actually really cool, but I will see you in the next video, hopefully. Peace out, have a great day or evening, wherever you are, whichever time zone you're in. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more content like this, and I'll see you next video.